Hi guys! Happy Monday. It feels like the end of the week. I'm knackered already, but you know, it's just the beginning of the week. Um, craziness this in the world at the moment, isn't it, with this uh, coronavirus? Um, we're just trying to wait and find out in Scotland whether the schools are going to close or not. We've heard rumours that they're going to close just at the beginning of the, uh, the Easter holidays um, for possibly four months. So, you know, until until after the summer holidays, so it's four months at home with the kids. But I suppose that's the least, least of, of concerns really, isn't it, with, with what some people are going through. Yes, anyway, so um, I've decided to do a video today trying to be a bit more on the, the more cheerful side um, with all these sad things going on at the moment. Um, but I'm going to do a review of the new Huda Beauty Pastels Rose Palette. Now, this is um, the new addition. The pastels are a new addition to their um, their smaller range. You know, they have like the big palettes and then they have their nine pan palette range. Now, the nine pan palette range, they've got so many different ones. They've got like, you know, the Amethyst collection, they've got the Sapphire collection, they've got all these different deeper tones. Now, she's jumped in the bandwagon to do the kind of pastels that are being quite big at the moment with things like Colourpop and other brands as well. So she's got three different ones. Um, there's like a mint one, a more kind of kind of lilac collection and the rose one they all retail at 27 pounds the only one that really grabbed my eye was the rose the rose one which is this one here um i've got a lot of other eyeshadows that i think would go nicely with it um if i was going to combo it do it you know as a, like a companion palette but i thought it also would be quite nice to do some looks there um with just just the colors now i have a lot of purples so I thought the lilac, I mean, the while the lilac one was really pretty, I decided, uh, you know, I've got a lot of purples at the moment in a variety of palettes that I already own. Um, I do like, I like a, a pink colour to go to, as a base as well. And um, yeah, I thought this would be quite a nice one to try out. So I'm going to do some swatches. So it doesn't actually give you... It gives you the names here, which are things like... They've just said things like peach matte, pink lemon swirl, sunshine yellow, blush pink matte, dusty rose matte. But it doesn't actually give you a descriptor on the back of, of which is which. Now, this actually, the, the campaign for this was actually a bit controversial because apparently they, they were quite similar to past uh, a past campaign with um, Jeffree Star. I think Huda Beauty's found herself in a little bit of, uh, of controversy over various things like that i think with uh, beauty bakery there was a campaign that she apparently it uh, was very very similar to to so yeah so there's be, there has been a little bit of controversy about this these palette release already um but this is a beautiful palette i think it's a nice palette i love their nine palette pans i mean i do have quite a few already which ones have i got already i'm trying to see if i've got this in my little drawer here no where have i got them um, so the ones I've got already, I'll just give you a quick shout out. I've got, a, I think I've got a few more somewhere else. I've got the, um, I've got the amethyst one, which I absolutely adore. It's such a nice, it's such a nice palette. She got the, it's the lovely greens there. Um, I've got the topaz obsessions, which is more the kind of brownie colors. Um, gold. They're quite, it's quite a warm palette, tone palette. This one I absolutely love, which is the amethyst. Um, one there again a, a lot of purples that's why I kind of wasn't that into getting the lilacs and then I've got the nude obsessions and rich which is the darker one I know that was more for a darker skin tone but I prefer the richness of the colors and I think I've got one more somewhere but I do like the size of those palettes so we'll have a look at these ones we're going to do a couple swatches of the new one like I say this retails all three of them retail at 27 pounds so let's have a look at this one so we've got this nice kind of pink shade there well, they're obviously pink shade. They're pretty much all pink. So let's do a bit of a swatch. They are... I might actually swatch on my arm because it seems to be... I seem to be a bit more successful. In fact, I might swatch using this because this is pretty good at swatching. My favourite my favorite brush is, if you watch my channel a lot, I always go on about this uh, Urban Decay finger brush. So just a very light pink there. 
I don't know if the lighting on this is going to be great. I'll maybe move it that way a little bit. Very crumbly, I've noticed. Um, and then we've got like a shimmery pink here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I don't know if you can see it there, but see, you see, it's a bit of a duochrome there. You can see it kind of shifting in the light there. Can you see? Um, very crumbly though, because the minute I put my brush into it, it's really sunk it into the into the actual palette there. Um, the next one we've got. I'm gonna have to blow this because it's going everywhere. Is this? Uh, it's like a sort of silvery pink. Well, that's really nice again. That's a nice color. Again, so you can see the silvery sort of pink color there. Unfortunately, this light, I'm trying, I don't know if I can kind of dim it. Would it make any difference? Is that better? Is that not better? It's looking kind of the same in that, like, then we've got more of a, a sort of deeper pastel pink there. It's like a dusky rose kind of colour. So we're going to have a look at that one. And I like, I like that one, actually. Which is a kind of dusky rose. It's not really showing up very well on this camera that's the only thing uh, so it's like a dusky rose pink there which is really pretty and then we've got this very odd marbled effect one in the middle now I think a lot of them I think they all have like a marbled one let's see what this one is I don't know if it's just a novelty or if it's all just going to mix into oh that's nice I wasn't really sure what to expect with that one because it's kind of like a marbled effect but if you look there, I mean, I'm, the swatches are not... Let's see if I can move it over this way a bit. Let's see if I can put a bit more in the brush. That's really nice. It's like almost like a rose gold um, effect there. The yellow is all, um, mixing with the the uh, pink to make almost like a, a rose gold effect. Let's see if I can get a bit more in there. See, on my arm, it's really... I can see it on my arm here, it's really standing out. But unfortunately on the camera it doesn't seem to be doing very much. But if you if you if you see it's almost like a sort of well that's maybe a bit better. You can see it's almost like a rose gold effect there. Let's try the lemon. There's like a sparkly kind of lemon shade there. Oh, and it's just gone everywhere. Fabulous. I think this might be one you might have to use glitter glue with actually. It's soft, very soft. That lemon colour, it's like a sparkle lemon, but it's the, the actual, I'll show you the damage it's done in the palette. Look at that. That's me just dipping that brush in and it's, that might have to be a finger application. Well, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, applied with the finger. You might have to apply that one with the finger. Um, okay, let's do the last three. Now, the last three are just mattes. So we've got a yellow here. It's quite unusual to have these these lemons and these lemon colours. It's unusual that they've decided to that's going to be the the colours they mix with the pinks. But yes, it sort of works. And then the last two again are kind of more dusky pinks. Again, a nice another sort of dusky pink up there, parsley pink there, you can hardly see it. All these are so light, it's such a light palette. And then we've got this uh, brown here. I say brown, it's like a brownie pink, a nude pink, like like a nude pink lipstick actually there. What I might do is I'll pause that and I'll see if I can switch the camera around to show you on my arm. That's the, this is it on my arm, as you can see the different colours there, you can see, sorry about the, the mess of my um, makeup table here, it's just absolutely messy but never mind. So that's what the swatches look like on my arm, so you maybe get a better idea of the pigmentation there. I do like the sparkly ones, um, I think they're maybe better with fin on applied by the finger or um with a very dense brush or and even maybe using glitter glue that lemon one certainly collapsed okay so i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna try and do a look with just using just using the um the nude palette i have to say the the textures at the moment are very very crumbly um so i've done my base and i'm gonna stick my glasses over here and i'm thinking i'm gonna 
that's the only thing is look at that the the damage that you that you do to the palette because it's, some of them are so soft and it comes with a mirror as well that's that's quite nice so let me see which one I'm going to go in with to start with I think I'm going to go in with I haven't actually done my brows that's another thing oh my goodness everything's going crazy today so I'm going to start with maybe this light the light pink that's at the bottom here and just go in with that to start with I mean the good thing about this palette is it's all very very light so it'll be very nice for spring I mean the mint's beautiful I like the mint one as well but I'm not sure how much I'd get use of the mint one this one I think I could um I could combo with other palettes maybe even you know mix with some of the other Huda Beauty ones but let's see what it looks like on its own so this is a very light base kind of color here which is really really pretty I'm just gonna move around my lash line a bit there again apologize as I, I am no makeup artist as you obviously have worked out <laughs> I just do what I do. Um, yeah. So now I'm trying to think of what I want to go in with. Um, I think I'm going to go and deepen that up with... Hmm. Let me think. I do like that one up there. The, the kind of more... Um, dusky rose one but I'm not sure if that yeah let's try and deepen up with the dusky rose one just give this a swipe on my brush and see how that goes let's see if I can try and deepen up here it's not looking that deeper it's, there's a little bit of a contrast there I think the problem with doing too much pink sometimes is you do it does you do end up with the whole pink eye effect that it looks like you've just got like some kind of eye infection sometimes and that's why I wasn't completely overwhelmed with the Natasha Denona um love palette because I thought you know sometimes if you too much pinks on its own it can end up well I don't know some people really suit it but I you know you don't want to end up looking like you've got like some kind of pink eye yeah that's quite cute I like that I like the dusky rose effect there now What do you think? Nice? Not nice? Might just do a little bit along the lash line there. I always have problems. You know what I've actually bought? I've actually bought um, these things to go under my eyes when I'm doing makeup. If I'm doing really... Uh, look at using palettes like the Jeffree Star one, which has a lot of fallout. I've got these little things that you can put under your eye um, when you're doing your eye makeup because I tend to always do my eyes first and then go on to... Uh, sorry, base first, then go on to do my eyes. Okay, now I'm going to look at, I bought a couple of new ed edging brush, well, I, I also, oh gosh, oh dear, sorry about that, just breaking things in my room when I'm trying to find my brush, uh, okay, <laughs> sorry, pause for a minute. Okay, so I'm, I love this brush. I've got a couple of um, eyeliner brushes that I like to do that can uh, almost a cut crease with. But this is like the, the best one. I got this. Do you remember Ruby and Millie? I've had this brush in my collection for so many years, probably since my early 20s. <laughs> I probably should get rid of it, but I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely phenomenal for doing lines. Uh, it's, it's just so good. Sorry about the chaos there. Honestly, this is what happens when you've got a very small makeup table. Um, I like my organisation of my makeup table that I've done, but the problem with this lamp thing, it just sometimes flies off and there's just not enough room. So I'm going to go in with... Um, not to blind you with the light there in the mirror. That one there, I think, for deepening up for a bit of a cut crease. Um, yeah, so again, I'm just learning this whole cut crease business. The thing about this palette, obviously, is there is no real deep, deep shade, to be fair, to do, you know, anything completely contrasting. They all seem to be very similar colours. Now, while that's kind of good, I think... Um, for you know you know for a companion palette if you're using this along with another palette in fact that might be another if you're interested in seeing me do a video with this one 
along with another another Huda Beauty palette. Give me a shout. Which one would you like see to see it with? You've seen my other ones I've shown you that I have. Would you like to see me do this with alongside the amethyst one or the greens? What would you like? Okay, let's have a look. It's not too dark, is it? It's not really standing out that much. Now, let's have a look there. The thing about the cut crease, normally when you... I mean, I'm just learning really the whole cut crease thing. The cut crease really should stand out and give depth to your eyelid. It's really good for people who've got hooded eyes or who's, you know, obviously ageing. You're getting a little bit more of the, the crep crepiness or like the who did I look it can open up your eyes a bit more which is good I mean I've always had quite a big expanse of eyelid there and I find now that as I'm into my 40s because of that I do get a little bit more who did I beginning to get a bit more who did I effect so I think having I, I like seeing tips on YouTube where people have done their makeup so I'm like oh that's quite a good idea right as I'm just doing using this palette I'm not going to use a companion palette what should I do what should I put in do you know what I might do? I might um, add a bit of the this mixture one and I'm going to use this one here. Just on here. In fact, I might use my finger brush thing because it's such a good one for... Now, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a see what other people on YouTube are using to apply this if they're using glitter glue because it really is giving quite a lot of fallout. I might even have to use my finger here because it's not really giving me that much payoff, I don't think. In fact, I might just smoosh my finger in here to see if I can get a bit more payoff, colour payoff there. What do you think of Huda Beauty? Do you do some? Do you like buying Huda Beauty? Does any of you own quite a few Huda Beauty? I do have a couple of her bigger palettes as well. I've got her Desert Dusk one, and I've also got her uh, Mercury Retrograde. I really love Mercury Retrograde. I'd like to get her Rose palette as well. Her, you know, the bigger one that she's got. Yeah, it's very light effect, very light effect. I'm like, should I leave it at that or should I just add something else just to try something else? Maybe I'll mix a bit of the, the crumbly lemon as well just to give a bit more contrast. Ooh, that sounds quite nice. What do you think with a bit of the lemon? Is that is that Okay. I don't really want to add any like crazy like light, you know yellow liner effect or anything like that. I know some YouTubers probably do that to get that effect, but I don't want it to look I want it to look quite subtle. Because I think that is the effect, overall effect of this palette if you're using it. So there we go. So that's let that's that. I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and see how it looks overall. I'll just pause. So that's the final look. So it's a bit uh the the lemons actually come up quite nice as a kind of a bit of a, a bit of a gold which is quite nice. So it's like a kind of lemony gold which is which is a nice sort of tone to it. And I like the kind of pink background. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I quite enjoy eyeliner. is a bit kind of a bit of a disaster. I've used this uh, Ciati. Uh, what is it? The Ciati Fierce Flix one, um, which it's you know a bit like using a felt tip pen on your face, which is a bit like kind of like ah what's going on but yeah it was it seems to be okay um yeah I, I did actually put i end up putting a bit of the solid yellow on as well and then put some more of the uh the gold yellow over the top because i felt like when i just first did the first bit of it it didn't show up as much but i think it's actually showing up a little bit more now anyway thanks very much for watching the video uh let me know if you, are you getting any of the huda pastels have you got any of the huda pastels uh, palettes did you know what do you think of them um let me know down below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel it would be great to have you i'm only i think a couple of subscribers well about 10 subscribers away i think from my 200 subscriber giveaway so that would be fantastic to be able to draw that soon so thanks very much for watching and bye for now